Yo, what up there? How you doing guys? My name is Sanj and today we've got another addition to the monthly favourite. So with the nature of favourites video, you see them across on various YouTubers, mostly female, that will show you their makeup, their beauty products that tend to change on a seasonal, if not monthly basis. Now unfortunately for us men's fashion YouTubers, especially for the message that I wish to spread across my channel, in the sense that you should buy um, smart and buy cleverly so that you don't change your clothing on a seasonal basis I'm hoping to use this opportunity to show you guys some of the pickups that I managed to grab over the past months That I may not have already shown you guys on the YouTube channel And so if you follow me on my social medias whether that may be Twitter or Instagram You would have seen some of these so without further ado let's get it So the first piece of item that I've got to show you is this beautiful suede imprint bomber jacket from Section Clo I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be honest it was sent to me to feature in my channel as you guys may have seen in the What I Wore in Switzerland video, this was in my first look. And genuinely, it is a beautiful piece. It retails at 90 quid on the website. Suede is extremely soft. I was surprised at how soft the suede was. And it's definitely one of um, the materials that you get on more expensive jackets. In terms of detailing for the product itself, you have some gathering at the sleeve so you get the whole bunched up effect. You've got your pockets. Now, I'm not too keen on the whole black detailing here that you see, I'd rather it be hidden or concealed. But again, personal preferences. In this sleeve, you've got nothing. And you've got a zip going alongside the middle with two zippers, meaning that you can either zip it up normally like it is now, or you can have the whole inverted zip to show some layering really nice piece slightly on the long line length of things I went with a size medium and it is relatively slim fitting so if you can do size up especially if you intend to layer with it or they may be throwing a hoodie underneath or like a jumper or just a couple of t-shirts like heavy knit t-shirts so I went with a size medium really slim fitting if I would advise it anything would be to size up for a more roomier fitting in this jacket next up is a piece that I featured in my for sale video and ironically it wasn't for sale at all but it was the piece that gathered the most attention and that is this vintage flannel that I got from Blitz London. I also wore this on a couple of pictures on my Instagram. A lot of people were asking where it was from. At the time, I didn't really check the label or anything, so I didn't know. But it is from this company called Earth Rags. Did some research and it is a Mexico-based company that does these sorts of heavy knitted flannels, ponchos, amongst other things. As I said, I got it from Blitz London, vintage store for 15 quid it was in a state managed to get it clean for a tenner and now we have it size extra large really oversized it fits great i mean it's got that whole faith connection vibe to it that kanye west amongst the other celebrities have been wearing as of recently so if you want to try that whole gosher silhouette without spending that heavy buck do visit your local vintage or thrift stores and you'll be able to find something very similar to this it was supposed to be featured in the vintage vibe series but I'm still in doubt about where I'm going to take that series so for the time being I'm just going to show you guys here my favourites. The third fashion piece we've got this Acne Studio sweatshirt, I believe the exact technical term is Fant Preppy sweatshirt. You would have seen it previously, once again it's an item that I featured in my videos, I just never spoke about it and it's got quite a few questions in my comments so I thought I would show you guys it. It is extremely long line, this is a size small and as you guys know I normally take a size medium and it still fits me perfectly fine. Boxy in the body, kind of slim in the sleeves. I got it for an absolute bargain, I believe. This originally retailed for something along the lines of £180 and it was on sale for £40. So although the sale season is over, a lot of online retailers do still have an outlet or a sale section for you guys to check out. So definitely have a look and see if you can grab some absolute bargains. It's a really nice fitting piece and one I'm happy to have in my collection. And then for the final piece of clothing that I've got to show you guys is this t-shirt from this UK based company called Made. I believe they're relatively newcomers, they only have three t-shirts as part of their pre-collection to their spring summer 16 again don't quote me exactly on that but that's the gist and the vibe that i've got of it if you follow my boy james claire on youtube or scott jones they both have featured this t-shirt on their channels and on their social medias it's a really nice fitting tee i got in a size large they tell you to size it up to get that sort of oversized boxy cut this is just a plain black t-shirt on a belgian cotton everything is manufactured in the uk otherwise screen print in the back with various dates it just says the first collection autumn winter 2015 16 made amongst other dates 
you've got that whole sort of um, gig t-shirt, not gig t-shirt, sorry, what they call band, like band and gig tees vibe to it. Really nice piece. I personally wear this t-shirt tucked into my jeans or my trousers. I would have ideally sized up even more to an XL because I find that their L just fits slightly odd, but that kind of gets covered once I tuck it in and it fits absolutely beautiful. So, so that's the black t-shirt from a UK based brand called Made. Looking forward to seeing what other stuff they're gonna bring out. Really nice detailing here. And finally, before we move off fashion completely, this is just a pickup that they want to do a separate video on, especially since I've already shown you guys a different colorway of these. These are the Bottega Veneta Chelsea boots. This one in the Ardoise colorway, same sort of details as the previous ones, just in a different color. Absolutely beautiful piece. If you haven't seen the previous video, I'll make sure to leave a box um, above or one of the cards that you can click onto and you'll get a lot more detailed video. This pair of boots works perfectly for dark wash jeans, black jeans or any sort of blue jeans. And yeah, another one to add to the collection of my Bottega Chelsea's. I'm only looking forward to the Toffees now and I'm pretty happy with my Chelsea boot collection from Bottega. Also the Shadow Greys, but that's a pair that I'm not too keen on having at least not now that I've got these. So the first topic that we have aside from fashion is books. Now I tend to read quite a fair few books throughout the months and especially since my last favourites video I've read a ton. These two that I've chosen for you guys today are my favourites. So the first book that we have is almost a classic now. It's called The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini. Probably butchered that name. There's a movie based on this book. It's a beautiful story of friendship, loyalty and persevering through hard times. And so Kite Runner, definitely one that I recommend. I don't want to spill too much about it as well. Just give it a shot, see if you like it. It is a fictional book, so if you are into fiction, it's definitely one that I recommend if you haven't already read it. And next up we have a book called History of Loneliness by John Boyne, a book set in the 60s and 70s. Again, fictional, talking about priesthoods in Ireland. Beautiful book, a lot of messages and controversies that did happen in real life kind of portrayed in this book, beautiful story once again, and I'm obviously only going to show you guys the books that I believe A, give out a good message, B, are good to read. So again, once again, fiction, potentially for the next month, I'll show you guys a non-fiction book since there is plenty of them that I love. So the two book recommendations for this month are The Kai Runner and A History of Loneliness. And the final topic we have today would have usually been a movie, but I'm going to talk to you guys about a series, a TV series that I'm sure many of you guys already watch, and that is Suits. At the time of this recording, it is just before the final episode of season five or six, however you wish to see it. Harvey and Mike have both headed towards, what's her name? Do you remember? Who? The, the bitch. Harvey and Mike have both headed towards the opposing attorney to either spill the beans or pull out something. And so I'm super looking forward to it. Suits is definitely one of those shows I don't know man, I just relate to it so much, I just think it's amazing, it kind of gets you into the whole law thing and um, gives you a peek in that world, I'm sure that's not how it actually takes place in the real world, but you are allowed to fantasise about law in that manner. So Suits is definitely one to watch, if you haven't seen any of the episodes, I heavily recommend you to watch the pilot, because that shit gets you hooked. Great acting, in my opinion, great storyline. Obviously at times it did go down, but season 5 is definitely one of the strongest. So that will be it for this month's favourite video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. I know there is a new backdrop. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you want me to go back to the previous one? What can I add to it? And also, crucially, what more topics would you like me to cover? I mean, I'm happy to talk about books, music and movies. Any other questions, any other topics, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. There's a lot more content that I've got planned up for the upcoming weeks and so. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace. This pair, uh, this pair of, ah, uh, fuck's sake. This pair of boots worked. This pair of boots. We've got the floral from two seasons ago. We've got this velvet bomber from last season. But anyway, that is it for this piece. Here's how